Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison. I am a first year second grade teacher and today is going to be the first official in-person day of school vlog. Welcome back to my channel guys. It is actually not morning, if you can tell by my makeup <laughs> that has been rubbed off from wearing my mask all day. It is actually the end of the first day. So I had every intention to film in the morning. However, this morning was so crazy and hectic with waking up and getting ready and getting to school really early. I wanted to get here by 6.45 at least to prepare for my kids to come here. We start our school day pretty early here. We start at 7.15, they come around 7.15, 7.20. Um, and so, yeah, really early. And honestly, it just wasn't my priority to film. I thought about it, but I just did not have time to pick up the camera. I was super nervous, super anxious. I just had so much going on in my head. I had so much to think about. I just didn't film. So I'm going to make this a vlog and I'm going to film this week, either just another day or two. Um, and so I thought I would give you guys a little update on how my day went. So my day went really, really well. I was actually pretty surprised by how well it went considering these kids have literally not been in a classroom for eight months but um, they really impressed me today. So I had every single one of my kids show up. I have 17 kiddos now because I just received a new student. So I was shocked that every single student came today since it was the first day back in person. And I know a lot of parents had worries about their kids coming back to school today, but it was so good to see them. When I saw them this morning coming down the hall, they all knew who I was and they found my room really great. I was a little scared about them getting lost, but they didn't. Um, and so they found my room and they were just so sweet and you know they all really wanted to give me hugs and that was a really a sad part of the day because we are obviously not allowed to touch them and we're all wearing masks and so a lot of my kids kept asking me for hugs and I would say I can't hug you but we can fist bump and stuff like that so they were all really sweet and good news is they're still sweet I know I said a couple times that over the screen and on camera they were so sweet for virtual learning um, and I was really worried they'd come into the classroom and be like a different group of kids but no they were still so sweet I know everyone's gonna say oh, it's just the honeymoon phase of the first couple weeks of school and it might be but I do think that I have a really sweet class I don't have any really big behavior problems which if you have been following me on Instagram for a long time if you came from there um, or if you watched my video all about my first year teaching you would know that last year I came into a classroom mid-year and it was a classroom full of behaviors so this is very refreshing for me to have a classroom that has very minimal behaviors let's hope it stays that way you never know and I'm definitely going to be getting more kiddos as parents switch back from virtual to in person so I'll keep you updated <laughs> So the first thing that we ended up doing was a class tour. So the way I did this, I just had each of my kids tell me something that they saw in the classroom that they wanted me to talk about. Because if you guys have seen my classroom tour, there's a lot going on in this classroom. And so I just left it up to them. I said, just raise your hand and point out something that you want me to talk about in the classroom and I will explain it. And that was a really good way. That way I'm not just walking around the room talking. I got them to raise their hand and interact and talk back with me. And so they did really well. They pointed out almost every single thing in the classroom and they were asking really great questions about what things were. So it took a while, but I got through pretty much the whole classroom and explained what everything was. Um, so that was really good after we did that we did a find a friend activity so I had them all stay at their seat and it's one of those activities where they're supposed to get up and walk around it says things like find a friend who is older than you find a friend with different hair color than you things like that however with circumstances nowadays we can't get up and just walk around the room as we want to so I had them all stay at their seat and I just read aloud the um, sentences that said find a friend that is older than you, find a friend that has different hair color than you, find a friend that's taller than you. And I had kids just raise their hand. And if I would say, 
you know, raise your hand if you're eight years old, they would raise their hand. And then I would say, pick one of those friends to write their name down. And so it was a good game just for them to get to know each other. And it also helped them get to know each other's names and memorize how to spell each other's names and stuff like that. Um, so that was really fun. And then we did a super, super fun activity that I wanted to tell you guys about. We did an activity where the kiddos put on skits is kind of how I described it. Um, for how to correctly and incorrectly act out different procedures in the classroom. So for example, I have three kids to a table. So each table was their own group and I would give one table a procedure of how to line up. So they had to talk with their table and plan out a skit for how to line up incorrectly. So it was kind of silly, kind of funny, and they would kind of get in line all loud and um, just incorrectly. And then they had to show the class how to do it correctly. So walking quickly and quietly, standing straight in line, eyes facing forward and all that. And they did an awesome job. I was like, this might either be a total nightmare and a disaster if my kids are up there just like, showing everybody how to do things wrong and they're being loud and the kids are all just getting like out of hand but it was not it actually turned out really funny and the kids did a really great job of not pushing it too far and um still being respectful so that's a really fun idea if you have a first day with your kids kind of have them show you how they are supposed to do procedures in the classroom and so I didn't get to much curriculum today. Honestly, I did a little bit of reading with them. However, towards the end of the day, I just felt like the day went by so fast and it was, everything was so back to back to back. Um, by the time we got back from specials, I had some things on my mind. Um, I knew I wanted my kids to get organized. Their backpacks were a mess. They had supplies everywhere all over the tables so honestly we spent a large portion of the end of the day organizing their tables their backpacks their um, pencil boxes and everything like that just to get organized because that drives me crazy and I wanted to just nip that in the butt <laughs> so majority of the day I would say we spent just having fun getting to know each other we did a lot of talk over procedures and rules in the classroom like I said, my class is super sweet, so they were all about being kind and being loving towards one another, and um, I'm just hoping that sticks. And then, I showed this on my last vlog, but we did teacher versus students today. I already took the little things off of it, but my students won by a landslide today. I didn't actually get any points today because they never once made me like raise my voice at them or have to talk over them or anything like that. So I introduced this game to them. They were so excited when at the end of the day they won. They got to move their little bitmojis over here in the winner spot. And then if they win at the end of the day, they get a piece of candy on their way out. So they all got a piece of candy, which they were super excited about. We also talked all about this talking classroom management um, and how if we, I told them that if we have um, four letters left, by the end of two weeks from now, we get a popcorn party. So I don't know if I'll always do it like that. I might start doing it by the end of the month or maybe by the end of the week, who knows, I'll probably switch it up on them. Um, but they were really excited about that when I told them we might have a popcorn party. And I also talked to them about the student of the week. If you guys saw my last vlog, I talked about how I pick a student of the week every week and um, they get this achievement award. And then the following week, they get to be the watcher. So I kind of extended it and had them be the next week they can be the watcher, which means that they watch over our transitions and they're kind of like my little helper all day. And they also get to be line leader because I know they love being line leader. So I wanted to make this a really big incentive for them. Um, and they also get to use this fun pen <laughs> the next week. I just love having things like that for individual rewards as well as these whole group rewards, just because it makes them um, just personally want to act really well if they know they can get one reward for just themselves personally. So I will keep you updated on how that goes. The kids thought these voice level signs were so cool. They were like amazed when I showed them that they light up and one kid asked what the buzzer was and they all laughed really hard when I showed them that it buzzed really loud and I told them that if they ever get too loud, Miss Campbell's gonna come over here and hit that buzzer to tell you to be quiet. Um, so they got a good giggle out of that. And my kids, they're just so sweet. We're sitting down here at the carpet during our read aloud. And since we were talking about being good listeners, our voices were off. I had it on the one, the whisper, and one boy raised his hand. He said, um, shouldn't it be on the zero right now since our voices were off? 
and I was like, yeah, it should be. So that's just an example of how sweet these kids are. We played our cleanup song at the end of the day, which I will have linked in the caption, the one I use. It's kind of like a fun rap song, which the kids really like. And for cleanup, basically they're just in charge of picking up any trash or food around their tables, cleaning their desks off or their tables off, putting any work that they had unfinished in the finished work tray. And then they had to come over here, grab their backpacks and book bags and bring it back to their chair and sit down quietly to line up for dismissal. So again, it went really great, especially considering it was the first day and these kids have not been in school for eight months. They did amazing and I have a really sweet class and I will definitely keep you guys updated with everything going on. It's only the first day, so I know a lot will change. Um, and yeah, it is 4.30, so I'm getting out of here because I'm so tired. I stayed after a little bit. Our school day actually ends at 2.35. Um, I didn't get back from buses till around three because we had to stay out there until the buses left. And then I came back to my room and I did a little bit of planning for tomorrow, which I don't always do. I sometimes plan at home or I plan a few days ahead, but right now I'm just not able to plan too far ahead because I just don't know where these kids will be at, where I'll be at in a couple of days. Um, I still want to have some fun with them the next couple of days. I still want to have some more like get to know you, just fun activities because I think that stuff just really builds classroom community and that's so important right now. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will continue this vlog into tomorrow because I'm about to go home and relax. I'm probably going to go to bed at like 8 PM. I don't even care. I need sleep. I woke up at 5 45 today. That was fun. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, I know I haven't come on here much to talk today. It is uh, already almost one o'clock. I showed you a little bit about my morning and um, just kind of what I do when I get here. When I get here, I just unpack. I get our PowerPoint slide up and rolling and I just get our morning slides ready. I turn on some calm music and I go stand out in the hallway and wait for the kiddos. <laughs> so there's not really much to update you on, but it is now our break for specials so this is actually my longest break of the day i have a lunch break earlier in the day um, when the kids are at lunch however it's only about 15 minutes long um whenever it comes down to after i drop my kids off and go and heat up my lunch <laughs> it's maybe 15 minutes so i don't usually have a lot of time to eat which is fine because i do have a 45 minute break a couple hours later once the kids go to specials so lately i've just been using this time to uh, kind of relax look over my plans and 
eat if I have time because my 15 minute lunch break, I usually can only have enough time to eat a little bit or eat a snack. So I'm trying to figure out that maybe I'll have to start eating lunch the second half of the day and just eat like a little snack in that 15 minute break. We'll have to see. But my kids are doing great today. They're just so sweet. Teachers keep commenting on how sweet the class is and I love that. It's so refreshing for me um, coming from having one of the worst classrooms in the school to having a really sweet class. Um, the classroom is kind of a disaster right now. So before we went to specials, I had the kiddos working on a science project. They were identifying different things, objects that come from trees or don't come from trees. It turned out really cute um, and we read a really good book today. We read the book called um, The Book With No Pictures. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's seriously so good. This is what it looks like. If you don't have it, you need this book. I mean, it's for any age, whether you have littles or if you're in upper elementary, it doesn't even matter. It's so cute and so funny. My kids were dying laughing and they were begging me to read it again after I finished it. So I'm really glad. I just read that today just because I just wanted to do something fun. Um, I am hoping eventually to start a chapter book read aloud so that we can read a chapter or two every day um let me know if you have any chapter book read alouds that you really like for lower elementary second grade um because i have a few that i'm thinking about but let me know if you have any favorites down below so i have a couple things i want to do on my plan time i need to make an anchor chart for thursday because on Wednesdays we still have our virtual learning. Um, it's just a day for teachers to kind of plan. It's a day for the custodians to clean the classrooms, all that stuff. So I will meet with my students Wednesday morning, tomorrow morning for a little bit, but it won't be for very long. Um, so right now I'm just trying to plan for Thursday. That way I just don't have to do too much tomorrow since I will be at home and I'm, I know I'm not gonna want to do much planning. So I need to make an anchor chart and I'm also starting to get ahead of planning for Friday. So I might need to print off a few copies and things like that. But I am just going to try to relax for the next half hour or so before I go and pick up my kids and I will update you guys later. All right guys, it is the end of the day. <laughs> we made it another day. I am so tired, my feet hurt. I wore these booties that have a little heel in them and my feet are killing me. Um, but it was another really good day. I will say towards the end of the day, it started to get a little bit crazy just because we were trying to get the iPads out. I was planning on playing a Kahoot game with them, but we couldn't get the internet working and all this stuff. So it did get a little crazy and I definitely saw different sides of my kids whenever I started to give them a little bit more independence. They started getting a little crazy, um, but still really sweet class. So it was another good day. We had counseling today, um, which took about 45 minutes this morning. Um, and that's always a nice time because I get to plan during that time. Um, so I actually got my planning done for tomorrow or for Thursday because tomorrow we will be online and Friday. But yeah, that is it. I'm about to go home. It is almost three. So I'm getting out earlier today than yesterday. I would love to get home by 3.30 every day, but we'll see. I know most days I'll probably have to stay after and plan and maybe get some copies going. I am probably going to end this vlog here and just keep it as the first two days of school vlog because there's a lot of me talking in it and this is probably getting really long. But yeah, thanks so much for coming along with me on my first two days of school. It was amazing. It went much better than I thought. I was really, really nervous yesterday morning, but um, I had nothing to be nervous about. It was awesome. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I know a lot of you guys watch my videos, but you're not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button if you would like to see future videos from me so that they pop up on your subscription page. And other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.